Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Mapi of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I'm still on the case of Ahab and the 400 prophets and Micaiah, who prophesied contrary as uh, an answer to the request of Jehoshaphat, who said, I need another voice. I need something different than just this one. Uh, I'm, I'm very intrigued by, by this. Now, when Ahab said, okay, let's hear the voice of God. The Bible says 400 prophets in the palace, they came and then they all prophesied, go to war. And here is the interesting thing. God said, I want to deal with Ahab. I'm bringing Ahab to judgment. And yet these 400 prophets, that's number one, uh, prophets, no, one, they had revelation. That is their ears and their eyes are open. Their spiritual ears and their spiritual eyes are open. They can see and they can hear from God. They had a reputation. They had a respect. They had the reverence. And they had uh, that, 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 the, the system of, of prophets. That was who they were. But the Bible said they all prophesied wrongly. And it was somebody else who came from outside who said, this thing, when you're going to, you will die. You know, uh, I like to capture my thoughts this morning with the words, Amen, Kroonis. Amen, Kroonis. There are some people who will tell, Amen. I mean, hey, people in positions of prominence or people in positions of leadership, you would always have Amen, Kroonis around you. You may sometimes, you, you, what's going to happen, you're going to be entertaining the, the Kroonis instead of the objective people. And Aaron uh, and, 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 and Ahab, preferred the, Aaron, uh, the, the uh, Amen Kroonis. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When everything is good. Hey! There is danger ahead. You're going to die. There's a plan to, to kill you. And all those Amen Kroonis. Why would people become Amen Kroonis? The reason why they are Amen Kroonis is because there is something to gain. They were paid by the palace. These prophets were on the palace payroll. Prophets on the palace payroll, not just prophets on the palace payroll, they live for the pleasure of the palace. And they live at the behest of palace pleasure. They live the palace payroll, they live at the palace, uh, they live in the pleasure of the palace, and they were also there at the behest of palace pleasure. That is what palace wanted them to do. That is what they wanted to do. Are you prophesying because you are being paid by the palace? Or do you speak because you are getting benefits from the palace? And for you, the leader, Amen Kroonis can sometimes prophesy you to your death. While they are speaking a blessing, God has judgment against you. And sometimes it, it's, it's the leadership is always surrounded by this Amen Kroonis. Everything you say, Amen. If you sneeze, Amen. Whatever you do, any noise you make, upstairs, downstairs, it is Amen. No one can say that, hmm, this thing doesn't smell nice. You can't get people to stand up and say, this thing doesn't smell nice. It is not fragrance, it is flatulence. Excuse my language. And sometimes we get a amen crooners who can't, who can be objective. I can be objective without being, uh, without malice. I can be objective without, without, without being malicious, with no malicious intent. And that, that is it. The challenge of leadership is Amen Kroonis. Those who come singing the praise of leadership, when in actual fact, the finger of judgment is aimed. And there are arrows and chariots of judgment riding down our way. Well, as a leader, you have a choice to either listen to Amen Kroonis or listen to the voice of objectivity. And if you're an Amen Kroonis, be very careful. One day, your song will come to an end. See you later.